Hey everybody, Adam Savage in my cave. Uh, and today is a, uh, a show and tell from Tested's Mailbox. Yes! Um, this one, cut. We, I love the things you guys send in the Tested Mailbox and so much comes through. There is no way we can possibly acknowledge them all, but please know that we get everything. Um, we call out a few here and there, uh, and here comes one from Stanley Yankee. What a name. Both parts of your name could be tool companies. I think both are. Um, Dear Adam, I'm an electrician, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, LU82. Uh, by trade, and in this package you will see a tool given to me by a retiree. Oh. This is a tool that is great for repetitive tasks, i.e. installing hundreds of receptacle switches, receptacles, switches, or constantly taking off putting on panels to equipment that seem to have a thousand screws. This is a screwdriver that was carried in an electrician's pouch before battery drills and screwdrivers, battery powered drills and screwdrivers were commonplace. It has a mechanism that is mechanically interesting in ergonomics. Seat it in what you would like to loosen or tighten and push the handle towards the bit to initiate the action. We'll also accept different bits in the chuck. Yeah, my grandfather had one of these. Holy cow. Um, so, all right, yes, okay. So what we have here is, uh, is two opposing helical spirals and a switch that can accommodate choosing which one is being activated in which way the screwdriver can be turned one way or t'other. Um, that is beautiful. There is probably a Russian YouTube channel making these as we speak. Um, uh, uh, Harry Tuttle, the uh, plumber played by Robert De Niro in Brazil, uh, carries a long one of these. He pulls it out of his back and pushes a button. Shoop, it comes even out farther. So you put the bit in here. Let's see here. It would seem okay. Got it. That's nice. That's totally secure. And then the ferrule here uh, actually does not spin with the screwdriver, and that allows you to get some nice purchase on this thing. And then to unscrew, what, what, what? that's super cool. Uh, hang on here, let's just read a little bit. I only ran across this tool in the field once. We were working at a chemical plant and we could not make any sparks, which would make a corded drill or battery out of the question. <laughs> and that's when this tool came in handy. A little old fashioned tech being ended up being highly useful. Seeing as I have duplicates of this, I think it will go well in your collection if you do not have one for your more intricate work. I hope you find use in this. And if you are ever in the Dayton, Ohio area, I'll be sure to come see you, perhaps to tour, tour the U.S. Air Force Museum. The, the U.S. Air Force Museum in Dayton has been calling to me now for well over a year. I mean, what I mean is uh, the... Uh, a Smithsonian had a board meeting there that I was not able to go to. And then ever since then, it's like about once a month, somebody says to me, have you been to the uh, Muse Air Force Museum in Dayton? It's really amazing. It'll blow your freaking mind. Um, I will get there. I promise I will get to you in Dayton, Ohio, uh, where many of my favorite motors have been built. Um, wait, wait, wait. Okay, is there anything else here? In solidarity... David Bruce. Oh, I, I'm an idiot. It is a Stanley Yankee screwdriver. I was like looking down here. This is my ADHD brain. I'm like, that's the signature. Read it. Stanley Yankee are tool companies. They sound like tool companies because they are. And the center of this little letter is David J. Bruce. could pay closer attention from time to time. It's written on my report card. Um, David Bruce, thank you so much for this beautiful addition to my collection. It is a lovely tool. And um, it is the Stanley Yankee number 135A made in the USA. Um, now you're reawakened. Robert De Niro's toolkit in Brazil is my inspiration for my Dr. Bag toolkits. That has always been something I knew, and yet I don't know that I've ever said it out loud. 
Yeah, Robert De Niro's Toolkits in Brazil. I'm gonna try and find it. Just make a list for myself. Yeah, so uh, 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 it's a beautiful toolkit. He pulls off this backpack, opens up, everything he needs is there. There's even a little work light. He pulls out one of these, shunk, it's like this big, and now I want one of those too. Um, a lovely, lovely piece of engineering this is. Uh, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> I can't believe I got the name wrong. Oh, I'm not reshooting. I, I could certainly reshoot this so that I didn't appear that um, impulsive, but no, we'll leave that in. We'll leave it, uh, we'll leave it extant. Thank you guys for joining me for this quick, quick show and tell from the Tested Mailbox. I'll see you guys later. Cheers. Thank you so much for supporting us by watching this channel. You can support us on an even deeper level by heading over to tested-store.com and picking up one of our tested embroidered baseball caps. We got your normal baseball cap, we got your flex fits, and we got flex fit truckers. And we are just starting to play around with lots of new designs, so check back regularly. Thanks.